Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the window and door expert. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the HomeGuard Innovation Double Hung Window. Now you say, Jeff, I've never heard of them. Well, that's why I'm telling you about it. By the way, when I do a product review like this, I get no compensation. I'm not paid in any way. I'm here to give you my honest, true, sincere, unbiased opinion. Well, unbiased. I do like quality, so I'm biased to that. And I do like quality companies who take care of their customers. So I'm biased in that regard, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about this window. Now, HomeGuard Innovation is based in Amish country, Indiana. Why do I mention Amish country? Well, because a large portion of their staff are actually Amish people, and Amish people have a great work heritage. They are quality, they show up to work on time, they care about family, they care about values, and you can see that reflected in the quality of workmanship that you see in their products. Um, HomeGuard is a family-owned boutique window company. What I mean by boutique? Well, I mean like they don't have uh, representation across the entire country, but where they've been, where they are, they have a strong impact, they have a strong following, they have a great reputation in that area. They've been found, they were founded in 1983 by the Barbieri family. Actually, uh, Brian Barbieri and his father founded this company, and Brian's been the president since uh, 1994. And so Brian and his team do a terrific job of working in the local community and servicing those states that are adjoining to Indiana. Now, one thing I do like, I was speaking with Brian about, is that they are actually a debt-free company. You say, Jeff, why does that matter? Well, because they're not owned by a big conglomerate that has a lot of money tied up into this organization and they're expecting certain things like, here's where we need to be on profit margins. And sometimes that, that impedes the ability to do what you want. You're not able to just do what you want to do. So being debt-free means that they only answer to you as their customer, and that's terrific. So this window is a double-hung window. It's made out of vinyl, and you can tell this is a black window. This is not painted black. This is actually a black laminated window. Now, they do have over a dozen colors that they can apply to this that would be painted finishes, and they do use a process to make it very durable. But I like the fact that this is laminated, and I wish you could see it. We'll get you a close-up, but it has a little bit of a texture to it. It's not, it's not s smooth. It's got just a little natural, organic sort of peel, orange peel sort of texture to it, and I think that gives it a high-quality look, and I think that's really pretty cool. Now, this is ex uh, an extruded product, right? What I mean by extruded? Well, extruded means it's like a bar of soap. The color's all the way through. You could, you could slice through a bar of soap and you still have that same color all the way through. This is extruded, but then that laminate goes over the top of it. Now, if you wanted a product that's not laminated like this, you could get a white, beige, or clay product that's fully extruded. And so those are their primary colors. And you'd save a little bit of money if you did go with one of those or you know, stuck to their standard stuff. Now, the glass is what, 95% of a window, right? So that's really important. And what I like about it is, is that this is a 7 8 inch, meaning that from the outside to the inside, this double pane window, there's 7 8 of an inch. This is a 7 8 inch in IG, what we call IG, meaning insulated glass unit. This is made by Cardinal, and you've heard me talk about Cardinal. I believe Cardinal makes the finest glass, the quality glass that you can buy uh, in the country. Also, you have to know that some companies actually buy Cardinal glass and then they assemble it themselves in their plant. This company does not do that. They actually buy the Cardinal glass fully assembled as a IGU, insulated glass unit, from Cardinal directly. So the seal failure on this stuff is like almost zero. Like you're not going to have an issue with this thing fogging up and uh, losing its seal, which is a common thing with low quality double pane glass. Now they do have triple pane glass. If you live in a climate where you think you want that, they do have that available to you. Of course, it raises the cost. They also have laminated glass. You've heard me talk about laminated glass, meaning that it has a layer in here that helps protect it from uh, forced entry. So you could take a crowbar to it and sure you could break it, but it'd be a lot more work in order to get through that glass and into the home. So that's cool. They also have blinds between the glass. Oh my gosh, what a great feature is that. Think about this, if you have an area where you don't want to put window treatments, you want to have blinds, but you do want to have privacy certain times of the day, they can actually put the blinds between the glass. So I think that's really pretty cool. They also have what's called an offset glass. Remember I talked about offset glass being glass where it's dissimilar, you have a different strength of glass on the inside than you do on the outside. That helps reduce sound reduction by almost 50%. So that's a really cool option. And also what's really neat is on this new technology that they're using at Cardinal for the glass, this silver spacer you're seeing here, that's actually made out of stainless steel. 
That is stainless steel spacer, and that's what keeps the inside pane and the outside pane connected together, and the gas, of course, is filled in between there. What's an interesting point about that spacer is that it's actually razor thin. It's actually half the thickness of a razor. That's how thin it is. It's just enough to hold the gas in, but not enough to lose that benefit of insulating properties. In other words, we don't want metal in the spacer because it transfers heat and cold. So when you keep it very, very reduced and you make it out of stainless steel, oh, you get the best of both worlds. Now, if you look up here closely, this does have what's called a pound-in glazing bead. I love a pound-in glazing bead. Most window companies use that cheap stuff. It's kind of like a hollow, convex sort of glazing bead. And that's the first part that gets Damage. That's the first part that gets exposed to the sun for the longest and it ends up beating it up and it cracks. If you go outside and look at your old windows right now, you'll see that you probably have little crack holes and that's because they don't have a nice heavy duty pounding glazing bead. Now that takes more money, it takes more time, but I think it's, it's beautiful and it helps make this really nice. Now they do have grids between the glass like you see here, which makes it easy to clean the window, but they also have grids that are on the surface of the glass. We call those SDLs. By the way, I have a video I'm gonna put a link to up here and down there about everything you'd wanna know about grids. And I think that's really important to know. Now, when it comes to water shedding, it has a slope sill. I like how this sill is actually sitting at an eight degree angle. And if you live in the Indiana or those parts of the country, you'll see that a slope sill is very common. Go outside and look at your windows now. You'll have a sash that drops into the bottom of a sub sill and your sill slides like that and the water sheds off. They're mirroring that, that technology. Why reinvent the wheel? I mean, that's what we've had since windows were made. The first window was made on Noah's Ark. Probably had a slope sill, right? And so the idea is let water come down and then let it slope away from your window. Pretty cool thing to do. Now, one of the things I think is really cool too is they have actually used on this particular product what's called the flex screen. Let me get you the flex screen to show you how cool this is. Flex screen was invented by a guy and he was on Shark Tank. And I don't know if you watch Shark Tank, but you should Google it. It's really a good uh, interview. I think it's a great idea. Look at this. Uh, this, this window screen stays tight, right? Because it expands all the time to this right position and it's easy to get in and out. And, and it's really so narrow, it doesn't take up much space. So check it out. You just squeeze it like this, okay? And I put in a corner, then I put in the other corner. I come down and put in this corner and in my last corner and release and voila, my screen's in nice and tight, easy to remove. It's really kind of a cool idea. <laughs> I like it. Now they make this in all kinds of window styles, right? They make like casements, they make single hungs, they make double hungs, they make um, awning windows, they make hopper windows. So just about any house, radius windows, just about anything you can imagine, they're able to do that. Now let me show you some features on the inside of this window. I like the balance system on this. It actually uses a block and tackle. So when I open the window, I can open it part of the way and it stays, or I go up higher, stays a little bit higher. Wherever I position the window, it's gonna stay there because this system is actually gonna keep the window in the spot I put it in. Now, one of the things I think is really cool is that it actually has what's called a integrated tilt mechanism. So when I open the window, you can see these levers. I squeeze right here like this, and then I'm able to tilt the window in. Now, a lot of windows do that, but they have a little clip here on top, which you can see. This one is actually integrated into the mechanism here inside this channel, so check that out, watch. So that moves like that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's really high tech. I like how that works. Now inside here, what you cannot see is they actually have a product that's reinforcing this because we want some strength. We want some extra stability on this. And this is called an energy bar, energy bar. And this energy bar is, is a composite product and it's made out of 20% soy product. So it's good, it's recyclable, that's nice. And what it does is it gives some extra rigidity and strength to the center of this window. That makes it stiffer. It helps when the wind, blow, the wind blows on it to help keep it in place so you don't have air leakage coming around the window. And also what I like about it is it gives a good place for these locks to secure. They're not securing just into a hollow vinyl piece. They're actually going into this composite material. By the way, that composite material takes a diamond blade saw in order to cut it with. It's very strong, it's very powerful. It works really great. Now I wanna show you the weather stripping on this because what's good a window, what good is a window if it's not well insulated? They have triple weather stripping on the sash. One, two, three, triple weather stripping. One's on a very foremost outside, one in the inner channel, and then one on the inside of the window. And what that does is that helps to reduce the amount of air infiltration, which means your house stays cleaner longer. 
if you had allergies, dust, dirt, pollen, these things that bother you, you're going to have a whole lot less of them. Here's the median rail. You can see how this part of the sash right here has that little groove that connects with this part of the sash, that little groove. And when I close a window, these two interlock. So I have an interlocking median rail that also has weather stripping on it. I have triple weather stripping on here. And then I think it's really cool, come around to the front, I think you're gonna like looking at this, is it actually has this really great weather stripping down here on the bottom of the sash as well. This is called a Q-Lon. This is a silicone based product and it's very, very flexible. And I like how that presses down against this slope sill. And then this extra, weather stripping is like the one you have on your refrigerator. If you go look at your refrigerator right now and you pull it open, you'll see it looks just like that. In fact, it's got a magnet in there. See this? Watch, I got a little paper click to demonstrate. It has a magnet in there and that magnet actually helps make it seal to the opposite polarity magnet, which is down underneath here. So the two can grate a great seal when the window closes. I think this is really good technology. I think it's about making this window even more helpful when it comes to beauty and efficiency. So, there are some laminated wood options you can get for the inside of the window. This one is just white, but we actually have four laminated wood options. Now it's not real wood, it's simulated wood, but it looks really pretty good. I'm impressed with how far that stuff's come and how nice it looks. On the hardware I just showed you, they actually have six colors available for that. And what people ask all the time is, Jeff, is this window, is this window good? Is it gonna last? Well, guess what? This is such a great product that they've actually put a lifetime transferable warranty on this product, which includes accidental glass breakage. Now, not if you have a riot, not if you get in a fight with your, with your spouse, but if the kids are playing with a baseball or a lawnmower or a golf ball or something breaks this window, it's actually covered under the warranty and it's transferable to the next homeowner. Now, there is a little caveat. There is a $50 fee to transfer the warranty to another homeowner, but hey, 50 bucks, I think it'd be worth it to them to spend the time to go about and do that. So compared to many ultra premium brands, like, you know, where does this fall? I'm gonna tell you, this is in the category of an ultra premium product, like say an Amsco or an Anlin or a Windsor, a Pella, maybe the Pella 250 series. I mean, this is considered top of the line ultra premium product. And so it's going to be in that price point as the soft light and the sunrise and some of those other guys you've, you've probably heard about. So you say, Jeff, that's it, you like this window. Yes, I love this window. I think it's a terrific window. I think that this family owned window company could actually make you and your family very happy. It's an attractive window, it's a classic design. Your home's gonna be quieter, it's gonna be cleaner. You can enjoy that flex screen that's on there. You're gonna deal with some great local family owned style dealers. And by the way, I'm not saying that this window's perfect. Like, I like it a lot, but if I could say there's one thing that you should be aware of, when you're buying a window like this, it's this. You see how this outside is black, right? Because this is a laminate. But see how the inside right here, I can see this white. Now this is not a problem, but this is common sometimes when you get a black window that's laminated. This lamination actually wrapped over a black window, a white window initially. And you can see they just cannot make these tight turns. You just can't get inside of there to fill this up. Now, when I put the screen on here, Okay, it does block some of that view, but just be aware that if you're looking at it from an angle, you're going to see the interior color of the window show up right here. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not, but I thought I should point that out. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to know more, go to homeguardindustries.com. I'll put a link below. And if I can help you with your window project, visit me at thewindowexperts.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. We'll talk to you again real soon.